there, and that's why we're trying to fix it. Uh, we've also heard that, well, to do here. We're trying to bring relief back home uh, for the marriage. The gentlewoman from New Mexico reserves. Um, the chair reminds members that their comments need to be directed to the chair. Gentleman New York is now recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield two and a half minutes to my good friend and colleague, the gentleman from New York, Representative D. Esposito. The gentleman from New York is recognized rec for two and a half minutes. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, you know, we've been in this chamber for a few minutes now, and we've been reminded uh, at least three times with fancy posters uh, and words from my colleagues on the other side of the aisle about how we got here. Um, clearly, we know how we got here, and that's why we're trying to fix it. Uh, we've also heard that, well, we don't want to support this because it's only one year, and we've heard offers of two years. Um, we just got past the Super Bowl, and um, I'm pretty confident that every play uh, in football, you don't get to throw uh, a Hail Mary and score a touchdown or run a 90-yard uh, run back into the end zone. Sometimes you need to make your way down the field in order to score that touchdown, and that's exactly what we're trying to do here. We're trying to bring relief back home uh, for the marriage penalty elimination, uh, and my constituents in New York's 4th Congressional District sent me here to Congress to provide meaningful tax relief to local families, and the SALT Marriage Penalty Elimination Act will do exactly that. This important bill would double the state and local tax deduction for married couples from $10,000 to $20,000 for the 2023 tax year. This would allow middle class families to receive tax relief when they file this year. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act wrongly penalized married taxpayers at the $10,000 cap, was implemented for single taxpayers as well for married couples who filed jointly. Married couples were further penalized with the establishment of a $5,000 SALT cap if these taxpayers filed separately. The SALT Marriage Penalty Elimination Act fixes an anti-family policy and will help middle-class families across New York and the country. Since my first day here in the House of Representatives, I advocated for lifting the SALT cap, including as current vice chair of the House SALT Caucus. This bill is an important first step to deliver needed tax relief for constituents and increasing, ultimately, removing the salt cap. We've heard countless stories of Americans who are suffering from sky-high inflation due to the Biden administration, rising gas and grocery prices, and out-of-control spending. We must advance these policies. And just the other day, Leader Jeffries sent out a tweet that New York Republicans were sent here to provide SALT relief, and they have failed because it wasn't in the tax package. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it'll be on the floor just today, and we look forward to Leader Jeffries and others supporting this for New Yorkers and this country. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Chamber for a few minutes now, and we've been reminded uh, at least to 20,000 for the 2023 tax year. This would allow middle-class families wrongly penalized married taxpayers at the $10,000 cap. The act fixes an anti-family policy and will help middle-class families across. The gentlewoman from New Mexico reserves. Um, the chair reminds members.